Hey up everyone, today I'm going to talk about an exciting new bike that has an engine I think could bring us some exciting developments in the near future. The CF Moto SR450 is far from an adventure bike, but this engine could mark the start of a new range of bikes. Developed from the SRC21 concept, it's powered by an all new 449cc liquid cooled fuel injected parallel twin engine with 4 valve per cylinder double Everett cams, a 270 degree crank and a slipper clutch. Rated at 49.6 horsepower, it peaks at 9,500 RPM and will give you a 39 Nm of torque at 7,600 RPM. CF Moto reckon the top speed is 190 km an hour. That's just under 120 mile an hour, so it's no slouch. You get a lightweight chrome money frame weighing under 11 kilos with a separate subframe at 4 kilos. 17 inch 6 spoke alloy wheels take 110 70 front and 150 60 rear tyres. Brakes are great with a Bosch 9.1 ABS system and you get Brembo 4 piston M40 front caliper with a 320mm disc, while the rear is a 220mm disc with a single piston caliper. Suspension is 30mm non adjustable upside down forks on the front and a preload adjustable monoshock on the rear. Nothing special, but good quality. A 5 inch TFT is thoroughly modern and includes connectivity with the CF Moto Ride app, which allows navigation, track lap times, ride history, software updates, movement sensors, and vehicle location. Refreshing not to see features locked away behind a paywall, too. There is a full LED lighting system with daytime running lights and turn signals integrated into the mirrors, ensuring good visibility at all times. Riding position is sporty without being completely track focused, so it gives a great compromise that's equally suited to commuting, spending the weekend exploring the twisties, or taking it to scream around your local track day. There has been a lot said about wind tunnel development and the wing looks certainly look the part. I'm not sure they will do much unless you're actually at top speed though. There was also talk of anti-drop protection too, and frame sliders are included in the final design. A curb weight of 168 kilos is not as light as I would have liked, but it isn't overly heavy either, and the 795mm seat height should strike a good balance between ease of use and ground clearance. Rider aids are minimal, but you do get ABS and the slipper clutch to make life easier and 50 horsepower is perfectly manageable without traction control. One of the goals was to make it competitive with some of the 600cc machines out there, and when you consider the power to weight ratio and the advantage of throwing around a smaller motorcycle, it may well do that, especially as there seems little development in that particular market sector now. No, it won't compete with an R6 but it should be comparable to the CBR500 or similar, no problem. From what I can gather, it's been released only in the home market in the Philippines at the moment, with Australia next in line, but initial reactions seem very good. Riders commented on a serious jump in performance from the KTM390, so that sounds promising. Will we get this bike in the UK, Europe and the US? Well, the UK is set to get the A2 license compatible version with a little less power, and I'm sure Europe will be similar. I imagine CF Moto are using the launch in its home market to fund the relevant emissions testing, as it is an all-new engine block, so we will have to wait and see. What I am really interested in is what comes after this. We know all the manufacturers like the idea of modular designs, and this seems a perfect base for a lightweight, all-purpose, highway-friendly adventure bike. Possibly a nice little scrambler too. Perhaps we're getting closer to that holy grail after all. A 50 brake horsepower, 170 kilo twin-cylinder adventure bike would tick a lot of people's boxes, I think. Even with a bit of retuning for the better low-end performance it would need, it shouldn't affect the top end too much. What do you think? Does a 170 kilo 50 brake horsepower twin cylinder ADB bike sound like your holy grail? Thanks for watching and bye for now. Ride free everyone.